Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm Pierre Meunier and maybe you know me since not a long time ago, but I'm French, so it's why my English sometimes is so bad. I'm trying to get better about this, so excuse me about sometime my poor English. But anyway, today we are not here to talk about my English skill. Today we are here to talk about F3K DLG. What is F3K DLG? It's this. This is a DLG. So what DLG stand for? It stands for Discus Launched Glider. Why F3K? Because uh, it's the official uh, international name uh, for competition, for a contest. So, what is this type of glider? So, DLGs are 1.5 meter wingspan maximum. Uh, it's the official uh, size limit. Standard weight for a glider is around 220 to 250 grams. Uh, for, we'll call an empty weight. We will see that in the next video while, while we talk about an empty weight. So, it's a radio controlled airplane glider so why we call it a glider because as you can tell there is no propeller it's only uh, gravity propulsed so um, it's the fact it's falling and the lift produced by the wing create a forward movement so it glide so yes it's a sailplane if you want to put it like this I call it a glider but yeah there is many names in English I know so uh, yeah there is the radio controller as you can tell here and it controls the moving part of the glider so if I put it right there as you can see and there is the tails wait for it okay good so oh uh, the radio control the moving part I will show it to you right now So when we open the nose, we discover an electronical part. So this is servo motors. These servos are uh, made to make uh, movement, as you can tell. When I put inputs, we... So what are these? This is servos. Uh, the servos are made to make movement by the transmission of the radio. So if I put an input with my sticks on the radio, so if I make any input with the radio, it will move. Okay, and this movement is transmitted by a push rod to the, the moving part. So this is how the glider moves in the air. It's no engine, it's only servo motors. This is the receiver, it's a bit high inside. And this is the battery, so it's a really small battery. It's 350 milliamps, uh, one cell LiPo. So it's a bit like the same battery that you have in your cell phone, a bit smaller and lighter, of course. So if you are asking yourself, these models are made from carbon. So it's quite expensive model. It's really high end uh, and yeah. So yeah, it's high performance model. Of course, you can get some entry level glider which are made of foam. It's way more durable. Uh, it's way more friendly uh, if you crash it because uh, if you crash something like this, it will not be a good day. So yeah, that's pretty much it about the introduction of this glider. You will be on my head and we will fly a bit. Let's go. But hey, there is missing something. What does mean DLG? It means discus launched glider. So I launched the glider by a rotation on myself. How the heck do I do that? By holding what we call the peg. So the peg is a carbon plate fixed on the tip of the glider and we hold it like this. So, by holding it like this, I can hold the glider pretty solid and launch it and release the peg at the end of the rotation 
for the glider to climb. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, let's go to the action. for today thank you a lot for watching i hope you learned something today i hope you enjoying this video so consider to subscribe if you are not already don't forget to click on the ringing bell to be notified each time i post a new video so uh, i will try to do one video per week about dlg f3k to make you progress along and uh, yeah, maybe you are already a glider pilot, maybe you didn't know about S3K, maybe you want to progress, I don't know. But yeah, follow along and you will see you will enjoy a lot to fly. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.